There's a lot coming to you on a beautiful uh, Sunday, uh, Pentecost Sunday, as a matter of fact. And it is absolutely gorgeous out there. I'm going to knock this video out and then I think I'm going to put on some hiking shoes and go out to Valley Forge. I am here on the front porch of the rectory. And I think this is one of the few areas in the rectory that is not under construction right now. Uh, you probably got the message that uh, there's uh, we have adjusted the office hours because of uh, rectory renovations. Uh, this is a project that we had planned almost seven years ago. Uh, but because other uh, items came in and we had to do uh, some other repairs in other areas of the parish that had a higher priority, we kind of kept putting it off, putting it off, and putting it off. And then earlier this year, my staff said, Father, you deserve uh, a better working space, and, and we're going to do it. So uh, we got some bids, and we uh, started doing a little bit of deconstruction. And we're hoping to have this thing done by the uh, end of August, uh, maybe even a little bit sooner, depending on the supply chain and whether certain items come in. Um, but it's a kind of an exciting time. Uh, some of the people uh, might ask, where's the money coming from? We've had the money. It's been sitting in the bank for uh, almost seven or eight years. This was part of the original capital campaign from uh, several, from seven or eight years ago. And we had allocated the funds both uh, for some, uh, for the downstairs, the offices, as well as some other repairs. So uh, we're just finally getting around to spending the money and, uh, and doing it. I think you're gonna really like the design of what it is and it'll certainly be a much more uh, brighter and vibrant and certainly a much more efficient uh, working space so uh, as it goes along I'll be giving you uh, some ideas and some reports about that. We finally got the results back from the Disciple Maker Index and several of us in the staff have been looking at those results. The Catholic Leadership Institute has been holding a series of webinars. The first one was uh, where do you find the data, how do you access the data. The second one was what can you be doing with that data, uh, kind of doing a little bit of a deep dive. Uh, what are the various reports? What's interesting is they took a lot of the 75 questions and they grouped them in different categories, uh, whether it was key indicators, whether it was leadership, et cetera, et cetera. So we've been uh, going into that and, and looking at that. Uh, the next webinar will be held this week and that will be, right, what's the next step? And uh, we're gonna be talking to you about that. We're putting a plan together right now on how to get you the information and then how can we have some conversations with the, uh, with the parish and various constituents uh, in the parish, be it parents, young people, uh, seniors, uh, uh, parents with children, et cetera, et cetera, and, and trying to get your ideas on uh, what your thoughts are in terms of moving forward. Um, let me, there's a lot of data there. Uh, give you an example. Uh, we, this Catholic leadership has been doing this for several years. 1,400 parishes have taken the Disciple Maker Index. They have 400,000 responses. And so what we need to do is we need to kind of consolidate that or, and present it to you in a way where it's somewhat uh, understandable and somewhat cogent. Uh, so let me just start off a little bit by saying, by, by just looking at uh, from a high level at, at some of the, some particular key features. Let me start off with this. When you look at all the questions, there were a number of questions that were most telling in terms of the vibrancy of the parish. And of those, there were three in particular. Does the, uh, would I recommend the parish to a friend? Does the parish help me grow in my faith? And the third one was, have I shared my faith story or, or have I shared a witness of Jesus with other people? In each of those questions, there are other questions that are related to them. And if you are doing well in each of those areas, that will indicate the vibrancy of the parish. Here's the slide that has to do with what I recommend my parish to a friend. And you can see the number of other items that feed into that. The second one is, does the parish help me grow as uh, in, in my faith? And you can see same thing. There are some uh, key indicators there. The sizes of the blocks, the size of the squares indicate the, the relative importance of that question in terms of the, the, the three key questions. And here's the last one. Uh, have I shared my with the stories to others? Um, I give you those three just to get us started and to start the uh, conversation. 
in the future, uh, very soon, we'll be talking to you about how we're going to be meeting with you to discuss fees and where we can get you some additional information so we can start the conversation growing. But from there, that's something uh, to consider, certainly something to pray about as we move forward and, uh, and see what it is that we want to do here at St. Monica in the, uh, in the months ahead. God bless.